Welcome to Ron's Property Coffee Blog and Podcasts. Today I'm doing a podcast on how to become a real estate agent you always wanted to be. Doesn't matter in which country you are. The first thing is obtain your FFC license, your real estate license. Some of us have still have to go through certain courses to obtain those licenses. But as long as in South Africa, you've got your FFC number, you can start operating and work through a registered estate agent. The second thing what we need to do is build up your knowledge base in the real estate industry. By con continuing educating yourself, listening to blogs, listening to videos, and understanding the laws especially the one that's just changed in South Africa, the Property Practitioners Act, which changed in February this year. And I'm going to do a more of an in-depth uh, podcast on the Property Practitioners Act. The third point that's what we need to do is developing strong communication skills and interpersonal skills as a real estate agent. You will be interacting with a variety of people, including buyers, sellers, other agents. It's not about uh, them and us. It's about yeah, how can I improve myself to become that agent by creating good communication skills. This is crucial. Establish a network. This can I mean this includes by joining different Facebook groups, working with local estate agents, sharing of stock understanding what's actually happening in the area. And what I love doing is maybe going to the coffee shops, sitting down, interacting with other people, enjoying a cup of coffee, and I call it my coffee lifestyle. Because in the industry I'm in, is I can net network with local agents as well as international agents. I've found a lot of buyers and sellers by communicating. Because giving back to somebody is what you're going to receive. The biggest thing that we don't do as a real estate agent is we don't understand the local real estate market. By staying informed what's actually happening in the area, what are the marketing trends, the interest rates, the political climate. I mean, to give you an idea, here in the Western Cape, I mean, there's about 3,500 people from overseas immigrating to the Western Cape and 7, 700,000 people immigrating, or which we call semigrating from KZN and Gauteng in the last year or so, because of the violence, the political unrest, the, the floods, the beaches being popular, uh, uh, the beaches being filled with uh, pollution. You know, all of this plays a vital role, which will help you to create that stock, to deal with it, buyer and that seller in a proper way to uh, understanding what your market is. My key to one of the thing is in, in, as in real estate, and I'm going to go more in depth on this as well, is be ethical, honest in your practice. As a real estate agent, we have to take full responsibility. We need to listen to what your client wants and how we can help them to grow their portfolio. I'll say we, we apply the Lord approach. Now, what is the Lord approach? The Lord approach is location, occupation, recreation, and dream. I use this a lot in my social media platforms, but I also use it when I sit with a buyer and a seller. Why are you selling? Where do you want to locate to? What is the reason? Um, what is your dream? What is your dream property? What is your hobbies? As you see on, on my back screen is I've got... Kite surfing. I put it there on purpose that people understand. A lot of people moving down the Western Cape loves um, kite surfing. I mean, you've got a lot of overseas people coming here. We've got the blue chip beaches where people can enjoy the winds and have that fun and have that lifestyle of having fun on the Western Cape. Some of us might love walking with dogs. Some of us like maybe enjoying motorbike rides or cycling or running, depending what your client wants. 
speak the language. And my last point is offer excellent customer service. Be responsible, uh, be responsive to all your clients. Doesn't matter if it's a buyer or seller, send them a weekly email. Um, show them how to achieve their goals. By doing that, you're going to achieve your goals. And one of the big things is just listen. Understand empathy. You know what? Most of us just want to sell. My slogan is people buy from people. This will help you to grow your portfolio. By following these steps, by working on yourself, by improving and growing as an agent, become more successful, more respectful. You become more of a professional. So why don't you join me in my next episode or my next podcast where I'm going to talk about empathy, how to deal with that seller and buyer. If you like this, why don't you drop me a chat, see how we can grow together, and let's make this industry a better industry. Have an awesome day.